So teaching at Curtis, um, the neighborhood doesn't necessarily have as many resources as other neighborhoods do. Sometimes we come in and the kids aren't, they're not ready because maybe they haven't eaten breakfast yet. Sometimes they need clean clothes when they come in. And here at Curtis, we're all a family. So as soon as the students step foot in the door, they're taken care of. And that's really what I took from the residency program. Whenever I see a need from my students, I need to step up and, and take care of that need for them whenever I can. And so here at Curtis, there are a lot of teachers that care and we're able to develop that caring teacher style that strong teacher style by being a part of the CTR. And so I really feel like because of that, Curtis is thriving when it comes to teachers that really care about their students. And if it wasn't for the CTR, I don't think we would have as many capable and caring and loving teachers as we do at Curtis. My students in particular, they have higher needs than some of the other students in the building, simply because they are diverse learners. And that comes with a whole collection of hills that they kind of have to, to climb. Ms. Bennett has a question. Hey. I have these two bears. My friend Enoch, are these two bears the same? That's a small one, that's a big one. That's a small one and that's a big one. So if this one's small and this mm -hmm. one is big, are they exactly the same or are they similar? What? If they're both yellow, my friend Brianna. So I know that the bears are super fun to play with, but we just had two minutes to play with them. So now you have to listen to Miss Bennett's lesson. So scoot back. And then if this one's taller, then this one is what? If he's not so tall, what do we say? He's not so tall. <laughs> There's a word and it's called shorter. So if this one's I really feel that what I set out to do in becoming a teacher originally, which was filling the gap or filling the need that I saw some students having, I really feel like I'm doing that. I feel like I'm making a difference in my students' lives. And hopefully by being a mentor, also making a difference in the future teacher that my resident Kanga is going to be. Kind of dedicating one day in particular to Melanie. So tomorrow, do you need a lesson plan for math? Oh, or are for... you looking for? Enoch and um, for Brianna. Enoch and for um, and Brianna during math time during ELA we're gonna continue reading the story, mm -hmm. and then you're gonna lead morning meeting. Mm -hmm. And then um, I'll do math while you continue to test the rest of them. Yes, um, and then when Enoch and Brianna, Brianna. are in here, mm -hmm. um, then we're gonna try the LOI activity. That okay, we have for so them. you're good with that one. So we're going to start off by practicing our morning song, right? Okay. So it goes, good morning, good morning, good morning to my friends. Good morning, good morning, good morning to my friends. My motivation for becoming a teacher. <laughs> The pandemic. This is truly an unprecedented situation. It's going to disappear. A statewide stay at home order. School closures. I am looking at a three year old who is now learning via a screen, and I'm watching what's happening in my world. I began teaching her at home and realized how much I loved it. Do I continue? this path that I've spent so much time with and I've worked so hard for, or do I do what I'm telling my daughter to do, which is 
take chances and dream big, then somebody cued me in on AUSL. And I decided to go ahead and start really looking into it because the way that they talked about it seemed like it really, really aligned with the way that I was thinking. You absolutely can tell that they believe in the city, they believe in these schools, they believe in their students, and I love that. So it pretty much became an easy choice. And the next thing I knew, I was born. So during the summer, we had a lot of time together as a group. Uh, we took four classes in five weeks, which is incredibly insane, but probably one of the most challenging, academically fun things I've done, if I can say that. Then everything changed, and we started actually teaching at our sites, and I realized how exhausting it is to be a teacher who teaches with attention and purpose get the talking stick and then you will talk. I want everybody to raise their hand if they know why we're using the talking stick. We have to respect each other's what? Voices. So when somebody is talking, should the rest of us be talking? No. No. So the week is Monday through Thursday. I'm here the entire day. I'm working with uh, different students and uh, respected as one of the teachers in this building. An urban environment is obviously absolutely different from a suburban environment. I think that there's different stressors, there's different situations that would take place. And I think that as a teacher walking in here, um, you have to acknowledge that. You have to know that when your students are walking in, that there's more that they're dealing with than what's at the surface. Good morning, sweet girl. How are you? Good, did you want to get in front of Janaira? You don't, are you okay? Did you want to get in the back? What's wrong? Are you tired? Okay. Did you not sleep? No? Okay. It's gonna be okay, you're totally fine. Janaira, come on. Janaira, what is going on? I don't want to call mom and I don't want to call dad because you had such good behavior this morning. Right? You don't, you didn't get a sticker? Well, that's okay. Do you know that we give stickers in the afternoon too? So can you show good behavior in the afternoon and then we'll make sure to get you a sticker? Yeah? Okay. My DePaul days are mainly Friday and Saturday. So Friday I have uh, two courses and I take them back to back. So it's a, it's a full day at the College of Education. I look at my cohort and I don't think that there's been one day of being in their midst where I don't sit back and say, these people are incredible. They want this job. They want this position. They're change makers. I, man, sorry. I love, man, I'm so sorry. I love being a mom. When I walk into this classroom, I see her like in them and I see them in her. And oh, these kids, they matter. They deserve teachers who truly believe that they are capable of anything. And that regardless of your environment, regardless of your history, regardless of what the world tells you you are, there's absolutely no limit to what you can do. And as a black mom living in this world right now, I fully believe that black children matter. And to have this opportunity and to have AUSL have this program where those who are in it can see the possibility of a better world, it's everything. It sincerely is. I'm so thankful for those who've not only cared enough about Chicago kids to put this together, but also trusted enough 
that there's enough good people in the world who will say, I'll sign up, I'll do it. Whatever comes with it, I'm ready. And I feel that if more people dedicated themselves to organizations like this, our world would look really different.